Major Mohammad Ali Shah is joining us on the broadcast for this story. Now, Major Mohammad Ali Shah, tell us the significance of this trip. Absolutely. You know, see, we all know that Israel is uh, very uh, high-tech in technology and way ahead of us and many other nations. In fact, it's one of the largest manufacturer of uh, defense uh, equipment for that matter. So when our Chief General Mukund Nirwane, when he visits Israel, he'll, he'll be going on a five-day visit. He will get a lot of ideas on ground, hands-on, which he can bring to India. And of course, more than anything else, he will further strengthen the strategic defense cooperation between both the countries, which is very, very important, which is the need of the hour. So I think it is, uh, we are hoping for a better tomorrow. And certainly the Indian military is uh, really modernizing itself in a large way. When I say Indian military, I do not say the, mean the Indian Army only. The Indian military in terms of Indian Air Force, Navy, Army, the paramilitary, uh, frontier at the border. So we are in for a better tomorrow for that matter. Absolutely. What are the, some of uh, the areas where both the countries are looking to collaborate? Basically, it is uh, purchasing a lot of high-tech equipment from Israel, which we are expecting uh, very soon. And uh, it is uh, busy strengthening ties. And apart from uh, the high-tech military equipment, like there is, a, for example, uh, just an, as an example, I'm quoting, there's a company called Magal in Israel. They manufacture a lot of uh, homeland security products as well. So basically, Israel can play a very, very uh, good, a sharp role in strengthening our security, our nation's security, because in Israel, as it is, you know, they play, play a lot of stress on military, on defense. Like, it is compulsory for every citizen of Israel to join the armed forces for at least a couple of years, do a short stint, which is not so in India. And that is the reason why Israel is actually very, very well disciplined. And uh, it's a small country comprising of Jews. And Jews, as we all know, they were actually almost wiped out, but they rose from the ashes. They are where they are today because of their severe fear, uh, their perseverance, their determination, their grit, their willpower. And so we can learn a lot from them. And uh, there we are on our way to progress. 